I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber on trigonometric equations. If cos 4x minus cos 2x equals to 7 over 8, find the possible value of cos x. So since we are given double angle, let's begin with the double angle formula for cos. We could write cos of 2 theta as equals to 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now we are given cos 4x. So we'll use this double angle formula. Write 4x x 2x. Right. So the equation, let me rewrite the equation first. Cos 4x minus cos of 2x equals to 7 over 8. We'll convert 7 over 8 to fractions. Cos 4x can be written as 2 cos square 2x minus 1 and we already have minus cos 2x here. We'll bring 7 over 8 to the left side. We can actually convert this to decimals. Right, so we get minus 7 over 8 equals to 0. So let's combine these terms now. Rewrite, so we get 2 cos square 2x minus cos 2x minus let's add 1 and 7 over 8 and what do we get so 1 plus 7 divided by 8 is equal to 1.875 so we can write this as 1.875 equals to 0 now this is a quadratic equation so we can always apply the quadratic formula to find what cos 2x is, right? So applying the quadratic formula, we get cos of 2x equals to, well, let me write down the, okay, uh, minus of b, which is 1, plus minus square root of b square, which is 1 square, minus 4 times a is 2, and c is minus 1.875, divided by twice a that means 4 so the value of cos 2x is 1 plus minus square root of 1 so minus and minus becomes plus we get let's multiply so we have 4 times 2 times 1.875 that is 15 right so we get 15 here over 4 over 4 now 1 plus 15 is 16 so we get this as 1 plus minus 4 over 4 so we get cos 2x as one of these possible solutions now cos 2x has to be between plus and minus 1 so one value is 5 over 4 the other one is minus 3 over 4 right now 5 over 4 is not valid so we'll go with the value minus 3 over 4 so let me take a further solution on the right side of this page so what we have here is cos 2x equals to minus 3 over 4 okay now minus 3 over 4 really means that uh, we have two possible solutions for 2x. One, it could be in, in quadrant 3 or it could be in quadrant 2. So these are the two possible solutions. So, uh, well, we have to only find the value. We have to only find cos x. We don't have to find angle. So let's find cos x. Okay. So cos 2x can be written as 2 cos square x minus 1. So let's rewrite this as 2 cos square x minus 1 equals to minus 3 over 4. So let's solve for cos x now. Taking 1 to this side, we get 2 cos square x equals to minus 3 over 4 plus 1. And that gives you... Uh, minus 0.25 right minus I mean, minus 0.25 okay 
so sorry plus so 1 minus 3 over 4 is 0.25 yeah so that gives me 4 minus 3 which is plus 1 over 4 which is 0.25 okay so we get from here cos square x equals to 0 0.25 divided by 2 right so uh, which is like 0 0.125 and therefore we get cos x as plus minus square root of 0 0.125 okay that's what we get so let's find square root of 0.125 this is equal to plus minus 0 0.3535 so so that becomes the solution for the given equation in terms of cos x so we don't really have to find the angle so we say cos x is equal to this now you can always extend this question so you may say extend it to find x where x is between let us say 0 to 2 pi okay so you could do that so that could be extended but i hope you understand the process which we have followed here to find the value of cos x. So we wrote the expression in terms of one trigonometric ratio, applied the quadratic formula, answered, solved it, and then got our solution as shown here. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.